guys so today I'm gonna be doing a review and swatch video on the Kathleen lights palette um, I really like this palette I have a tutorial going up um, it'll either be before or after this video um, so it's not a first review I have used it but I wanted to use it before so I can kind of really give you um, kind of review on how long it lasted and what I really thought about it um, not just like a first impressions video um, but I really like this palette um, I wore the eyeshadows for probably six hours um, I did use the Too Faced eyeshadow primer underneath and it lasted the entire time they were very easy to blend as well excuse me um, I didn't have any issues with them um, I really have nothing bad to say about this palette um, the only thing the packaging isn't um, maybe the nicest thing um, if you do watch Kathleen's video though she does explain there's no mirror and it's not the Morphe's normal packaging um, she didn't add the mirror to it to keep the price down so if the packaging is the way it is because of the price then I am perfectly fine with that this palette is less than $15 so I am fine with the packaging myself um, I love the product and that is what matters most to me and to me the product of this is absolutely amazing so I would rather pay less for the palette because it doesn't have a mirror um, than pay more for the palette to have a mirror and things like that but other people might feel differently but that's just my I'd rather pay less and um, not have a mirror or maybe better packaging but it's not bad packaging by any means like that it's not falling apart or anything like that um, but the product in this is absolutely amazing um, they are very pigmented all of them um, I used this shade here here so let's say four shades I used this um, matte shade here and these two orange shades they're very warm and then this shimmer shade here in the tutorial so you get to see me use those shades there other than I have not used any other shades out of this so I've only used it one time so far um, but I'm going to swatch all the shades for you um, I'm going to start with the top line and go down but they're all very pigmented. They're very beautiful. Um, I'm very impressed with all of the shades out of these, um, out of this palette. So I hope you guys enjoy this swatch slash little mini review. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to be applying a primer to the underside of my arm just to help them kind of stick and swatch a little bit better. And if you hear squeaking, the dog is underneath the table chewing on a bone, so... You might start squeaking. So we'll start off here with the first row going this direction and then go down to the next going that way. So this first shade here is a shimmery light shade and I don't have names. I don't think it's on the box either. And I hope you can see these light shades with the way the lighting is, but I can barely see it there in the viewfinder. This next shade here is the light matte. You might be able to see them on my finger better than the swatch on my arm. Because they almost match my skin tone. That one definitely is very, very close to my skin. So I would use that maybe more as like a... Um, like I did in the tutorial to kind of set my eye whenever I'm using a um, primer. This next shade is, it looks in the palette that it has um, glitter, but when you apply it, um, it doesn't come off that way at all. And then this next shade here has a lot of shimmer to it. There's those up close. These last two are very hard to see because they really match my skin tone. But those last three you can really see there. Then for the next row we have this um, gray shade. And I decided to switch the back of my hand 
because that was getting to be kind of an awkward um, angle for my arm. And there's that. Then we have this very metallic shimmery, kind of a gray, almost looks like it has a little bit of pinky shade to it. That there, it's very, very pretty. And then we have another brown shimmer shade. All of these are very, very creamy as I'm swatching them as well. Then you have like a purpley mauve um, matte shade. There's the purple mauve shade. And then on the last one, we have a little bit more of a darker um, shade. I'll put this over here by that gray color. Ran out of room, and there's that shade there. And there's that row there. Then the very last row, it starts out with this very, very dark green shimmer shade might be one of my favorite shades in the palette then you have my next favorite shade this very very bright green shimmery shade it's very very pretty <coughs> then you have a very warm red brown shade and I'm not very good at describing colors if you can't tell You have a very pretty mustardy color. Um, this would be very pretty for like a transition shade. And then you have just a matte black, which I think is great for any palette. Um, you kind of always need a matte black shade for almost any look. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the swatching of this um, Kathleen and Morphe palette. I really, really love it. I don't have anything bad to say about these. Like I said, all of the colors, as you can see, are very pigmented. Um, they are very, very creamy, very blendable. They last a very long time on your eyes. Um, they didn't bother my eyes in any way. Sometimes my eyes can be a little sensitive to some eyeshadows. These were not the case with this. Um, they are great, different types of colors. Um, a lot of them are very warm, which I like. There are some cool tones as well. There are just a lot of colors and great colors in this, especially for what I would choose to wear all the time. Um, I think she did a great job with this palette. There's nothing bad that I can honestly say about this. I love this palette. It's a great palette. She did an excellent job. So did Morphe. Um, and it's just amazing. Everyone should buy this palette if you get the chance to. I do believe they are planning on coming out with more because it did sell out. So I hope you got to buy it. If you don't, go and try and get it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday. And hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos to come. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.